So in the last lecture we saw the types of losses, right, and efficiency calculations, power flow diagram and all. In this lecture we are going to keep our attention at the maximum power output. That is how in which condition we are going to absorb the maximum power at the output terminals. Might it might be generator or it might be motor, right? The maximum power of the mini and see. If you are a generator recovery, I would like to know in the condition of the maximum power of the delivery power. So in generator, this is the approximate equivalent circuit of the generator, right? And here I am considering motor. This is approximate equivalent circuit of the motor, DC machine, right? So in DC generator, generator in the sense, first of all, we are generating the voltage and then we are delivering the current through the armature resistance. This is my terminal voltage, right? If you apply KVL for this loop equation, what will you apply? Generator voltage that is minus EG plus IA RA drop plus terminal voltage. From this I can say terminal voltage Vt equal to EG minus IA RA, right? Now, we are getting the maximum output power, right? In the condition of maximum output power, we are getting the maximum output power. We all know maximum power of the value of the value, we have to differentiate the output power with respect to whom. In the quantity of the maximum power output with respect to R which is current or output current, right? So, in this case, this is my output power. Output power from the equation of output voltage into output current. This is my output current, that is armature current, and this is the output voltage. Now, output power is going to be output voltage into output current. If you look at the output voltage in the equation, right? Pt equal to EG minus IER in the substitute. Just now, I am going to differentiate this power with respect to armature current Y. I would like to know the maximum value. So, in the equation, the maximum value is going to be the maximum value. And the equation of the one time differentiate is equal to zero. In the condition, the maximum condition, the maximum power is going to be the maximum value. So, for that, I am differentiating this equation with respect to current. In the current, the possible thing is to become EG into IA. Minus IA into IA become IA square into RA. If I differentiate it, EG into IA become 1. Minus IA square into RA become 2 times of IA RA equal to 0. From this, I can say EG equal to twice of IA RA, right? Just if I differentiate it, 0 equal to 1, you will get this condition. From this, I can say IA RA equal to EG by 2. Now, what is the conclusion? If we receive the maximum output power in the generator, if we receive the drop power in the resistance, if we receive the half of the generator voltage, right? So, total amount of the generator voltage is 50%, that is 1 by 2 times, that is the drop power, right? So, from this, I can say, if we receive the IARA, we can substitute EG by 2, yes or no, let me take the terminal voltage. This is my terminal voltage. If you have the IARA, EG by 2 is substituted, if you have the output level of the output level of the output, eg minus eg by 2 become eg by 2 so from this i can say under maximum power output right so output level of maximum power receive from the model in order to tell the voltage empty on the camera half of the generated voltage right so from the output level receive from the voltage will generate from the voltage the correct of 50 percentage of the arena that is the point where we can receive maximum output at the terminal of the generator clear so now don't forget this condition that is very very important next step अब हम मैक्सिमम पावर है आउटपुट ला रिसीव करना होगा तो व्हाट विल बी द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ़ दी जनरेटर एफिशिएंसी अभी ना मैं कैलकुलेट करूँ आउटपुट पावर और वेट पुट पावर वेरिएस हियर माय आउटपुट पावर इस टर्मिनल वोल्टेज इनटू आर मैचर करंट ऑफ़ कोर्स डिवाइडेड बाय इनपुट पावर इस Input to number generate one voltage EG, delivery one the current IA. So input power is EG into IA. Just now we saw VT can be replaced by EG by 2 under maximum power transfer condition, right? Up now VT give us EG by 2 substitute one of the IA, IA, EG, EG getting cancelled out. So efficiency become 0.5 or in percentage I can say 50 percentage. Now what is the drawback? Or a machine la, DC machine la, you maximum power on the output la delivery one drive one ring of the in such a case my efficiency of the machine is going to be 50 percentage, right? So what is the conclusion? Efficiency has been greatly reduced when the moment we are trying to deliver the maximum power that is the drawback in case of generator. Let us see what will happen in case of motor. Again in motor, same circuit but in motor we are going to give the input from the terminal, right? Now this is going to be output whereas this EMF is called back EMF or counter EMF. Why it is called back EMF? Because according to constant effect, the induced voltage or this generated voltage inside the motor will oppose the cost, right? In the voltage generated, the cost will oppose the cost. 
simply this called back m of or counter m of abin so right anyway again apply kvl from this i can say total terminal voltage equal to ia or a drop plus generator voltage or back m of right abin so right from this vt uh, eb or l n or vt minus ia or n right once again nam ye equation find pandrom right? my target is maximum output power in motor output is this one in generator this is my output right appo motor la output power enna varum armature current into back m of armature current into back m of again back m of bell and the number substitute pannunga once again differentiate differentiate this power with respect to armature current again what we are getting from this I am understanding that this is drop. I hear already drop through my now not terminal. Then I am going to get input voltage. Then fifty percent is the drop which I did. Then we can transfer the maximum power. Right? That is what I am getting now. Our back end of now is there. So I hear already drop from this. I hear already equal to VT by two. So we just put another substitute. Then I hear already to another VT by two substitute. Then VT minus VT by two become VT by two. So we hear already all over the VT by two. So what is the conclusion? It might be generator or motor. It doesn't matter. If you want to absorb the maximum power. Or at the terminal or at the output zone, it might be generator or motor. You must keep your output voltage as half of the input voltage. Clear? That's all. अब इधर नहीं एफिशिएंट सी करके नहीं आउटपुट पावर और वही इनपुट पावर. In motor, output is EV into IA, right? Divided by input is VT into IA. Again, what I can say? EV के बराबर VT by two सबसे पढ़ेगा. Again, I am getting 0.5 or 50 percent. So the conclusion is, when the moment we are trying to deliver the maximum power in the output zone of my DC machine, my efficiency of the machine has been greatly reduced to 50 percentage. Clear? Don't forget these things. You can expect numerical questions and theoretical questions also from this zone. Next one is condition for maximum efficiency. See, I had given these terms already in transformer itself, right? Now, my next condition for them, or our our machine of the maximum efficiency of this transformer, not less than. इंगे ना मैंने बताऊँ दी ना, I did not consider my efficiency. I was simply trying to transfer the maximum power to the output zone. Right? अब देखें इसलिए नहीं efficiency वाला वाला देखें ना 50 percent जल्दी देखें, right? अलावा तो maximum power ना मैं deliver करना try करना होगी ना efficiency वाला तो 50 percent जल्दी देखें इसलिए का various. अब maximum efficiency वाला होगी ना, I would like to maximize my efficiency, right? In the machine, if you want to absorb the maximum efficiency from the machine under operating condition, you must make the constant losses as equal to variable losses. Do you remember? We saw the same condition even in case of transformer also, right? So this concept is fixed. Whenever we are trying to transfer the maximum efficiency and see the constant loss are going to be equal to variable losses i am not going in there just to remember this condition that is enough right so next we are going to start our winding design winding design and so this is all about basics up to now everything is over now basic ah enna paathirukom appadina armature winding vandu eppadi design pandrathu like armature la enna irukku adu kuda or enna paathu or cylinder size la vandu or water eduthom steel la adu design pannadukku appra adukapra slabs kondu vandu adukapra nam armature windings vandu design pannalaya avula da na sonna adha vandu nam in depth ah paakala like enna nam maarana winding sala nam kudukka porom right enna mari possibilities la irukku abingiradha ipo nam paakalam so let us start winding design i'm just giving introduction in the next lecture we will see how we are going to design the armature winding very very important so keep your observation usually on the winding design la enna mari ana classification irukku pathina basically on your rotor side our slats adha nam enna pannuvom abina rotor eduthitte rotor la vandu first vandu slats kondu varum right it slats we have conductors right so nam conductors vandu eppadi design pannalam abina there are two way one is single layer winding another one is double layer winding now what is the difference between single layer and double layer very very simple coming up one slat ku la ore ore conductor matta fix pannina that is called a single layer suppose double layer abina one slat ku la rendu layer right create panni kile one half that is bottom layer this is called upper layer so upper layer that is top layer bottom layer clear as one minute this is top this is bottom idu renda break panni nadu la vandu laminate panirpanga laminate panita in the conductor vandu or separate winding mele irukka conductors la vandu separate winding kudutha abina that is called double layer winding right so now what is the major difference while solving the problems that you have to understand in case of single layer winding first of all what do we mean by one turn or turn abina mean enna abina one turn abina see this is called one turn one turn no forward path plus return path that is called one turn right appo or turn avanga namba complete ah kondu varanum abina we have to effectively utilize two conductors what do i mean suppose if na inda edathula avanga current avanga ulla pass pandra abina ulla pass pandra current da return la neenga veliya edukku veliya varadha dot e ulla pora current avanga cross appo or or turn that is called one complete turn current ulla poi veliya varadhu right now to complete one turn i need two conductors are you getting me appo i need two conductors abina or conductor in the slat la irukku 
inner conductor in the slab that way, right? So what is the observation here from this? I can say one turn or one coil. Random meaning or the same meaning da. One coil or one turn indicates two conductors. Clear? Two conductors or I can say two slabs. If you will observe one more thing, how many slabs are there? How many conductors are there? Correct? Now what is the difference? Single layer and double layer. Clear? Understand? Put it on. In case of single layer binding. सपोज इप எனக்கு 1000 கண்டக்டர்ஸ் இருக்கு அப்படினா கரெக்ட்டா ஒவ்வொரு ஸ்லாக்கிய ஒவ்வொரு கண்டக்டர்ஸ் நாம ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணப் போறோம் அப்ப டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் கண்டக்டர்ஸ் வந்து 1000 ஆர் ஐ கேன் சே நம்பர் ஆஃப் கண்டக்டர்ஸ் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஸ்லாக்ஸ் both are equal ரைட் அப்ப இங்க என்ன இருக்கு அப்படினா वी கேன் வி ஆர் गोइंग टू கன்சிடர் 1000 ஸ்லாக்ஸ் அப்படி சொல்றோம் ரைட் நவ வாட் இஸ் தி கன்க்ளூஷன் அப்ப நம்பர் ஆஃப் டர்ன்ஸ் ஆர் நம்பர் ஆஃப் காயில்ஸ் ஐ கேன் சே நம்பர் ஆஃப் காயில்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஸ்லாக்ஸ் In a total number of slags, so number of conductors is equal, right? If a number of conductors thousand is required, then how many turns are there? Over a turn, so two conductors are used. So, if a thousand conductors are used, five hundred turns are there. One turn, two conductors. Five hundred turn, thousand conductors. If a thousand conductors, so five hundred coil or turn are required. So, number of conductors, so number of slags are equal. Then, single layer binding. So, number of slags is thousand. Then, if two are divided, then you will get number of coils or number of turns. Are you getting me? That is in case of single layer winding. In case of double layer winding, you know what? Over a slab, there are two conductors. Two conductors are there. That means one turn. Correct? So two conductors will give one turn. That means meaning is that if one slab, in the case of in case of double layer winding, if I have thousand conductors, it will show. Or otherwise, if I have only thousand slabs, thousand slabs are there. Then over how many turns are there? Thousand turns are there. Yes or no? Why, sir? Each and every slats. One slat is equal to two connectors. That means one turn of meaning. Right? If one slat is equal to two slats, I have to consider two slats to bring one turn. Why? If one slat is equal to two slats, if one slat is equal to two slats, one turn is equal to one turn. Now, here I am considering two different slats. But if one slat is equal to two slats, that means one turn is equal to one turn. So, in case of double layer winding, how many slats are equal? Number of slats and number of turns or number of coils. Turns are coils. Both are equal. That is the difference between single layer winding and double layer winding. Clear? So in the next lecture, we will see how we are going to design the rotor. Clear? I hope you all understand. Concept clear? Are there? Then, one like button, put it. Money, just like friends, are there? Channel, are there? Share, put it. Subscribe, put it. Regular doubts, are there? Then, in the comment section, let me know. Right? So thanks for watching our videos. Thank you all.